Good morning, one and all. In this video lecture, we are going to be try to understand the importance of vibration study in engineering. As we know, the engineering sector most of the times deals with the three types of the systems. The first one is going to be energy generating devices, second one energy transmitting devices, and third one energy utilizing devices. I would like to say that energy generating devices, the examples of that, wind turbines, gas turbines, hydraulic turbines, right? And these are all comes to the energy generating devices. Energy utilizing devices, just like household articles, fan, ACs, refrigerators, and this will comes to the energy utilizing devices. Energy transmitting devices, just like gears, shafts, and these systems will comes to the energy transmitting devices. Then, why we need to study the vibrations, particularly in the engineering sector? As you know, this all the devices have the relative motion among themselves. When the relative motion is existed, automatically there is a excessive stresses are going to be generating because of the vibrations. That's what we need to study. So here, what is the importance? That's what we are going to be seeing. So in this one, first one, as we know that the structural design, the structural design to support the high speed engines and turbines which are subjected to vibrations during the operation. As we know this, the high speed engines and the turbines will come to the energy generating devices and they are going to be structures are going to be designed to protecting and to supporting these kind of the conversions. So then what will happen here? So due to this relative motions among the parts and over excitations that vibrations are going to be generated. Then what will happen to the system? Then there you can see due to the if any faulty design existed or the poor manufacture happened, there is an unbalance in engines which causes the excessive and unpleasant stresses in the, the rotating systems because of these vibrations. Just we told that the structures designed to support these high speed engines and the turbines. Then what will, in this case, the faulty design or poor manufacture is the main cause for the unbalances in the engines and excessive and unpleasant stresses are going to be generated, right? And automatically the system started to subject it to the high vibrations. And next, the vibrations causes a rapid wear of the machine parts such as bearings and gears. As we know, this will comes to the, the power transmitting devices or energy transmitting devices. Then in this case, bearings are the supporters and gears are going to be transmitting the devices. So in this case, excessive wear and tear will going to be occur because of the vibrations. The next one, unwanted vibrations may cause loosening of the parts. In this case, what will happen? The machine is a combination of the mechanisms, right? And then there is a different kind of joints we are using to transmit the power from one point to the other point, from one form to the other form. Then what will happen? The joints are going to be getting the loosening. The best example, bolt and nut, riveted joints, welding joints, these are going to be loosening the parts. When we are applying for the locomotives, what will happen? Because of the improper design and materials distribution, the wheels of the locomotives can leave the track due to excessive vibrations, which causes accidents and heavy losses. So these are the main reason for that. If this, uh, the loosening of the parts, this is going to be one of the examples we are going to be talking. And when it comes to the many buildings, structures, bridges, fall because of the vibrations. As we know that external excitations and natural excitations are going to be natural frequency are going to be matching each other. When they are going to be resonance is going to be occur, then is going to be the vibrations the frequency will going to be amplified to the infinity level. Automatically, the systems are going to be fail in this case. The next one, the readings from the measuring instruments also one of the difficult the thing where we can't get the exact readings. So that's, the, taking the readings also going to be the one of the important. So that's why we are going to be studying these vibrations in the engineering field. I hope the main importance of the vibrations in study in engineering is, this is the main reason we need to understand here. Because of these vibrations, excessive stresses are generating. Once excessive stresses are generating, the started, the machine elements started to fail. Right? And the second one, the loosening of the parts will occur and there is going to be a dismantling or the separation of certain parts are going to be happening. So that final 
the purpose of the mission or the mechanism is designed, it's not going to be fulfilled. That's why one should have to understand before introducing the product into the market, these vibrations study is the very important. Thank you.